Hello dear students, we have uh, studied all the elements of group 16. Now we should start studying the elements from group 17. Group 17 if we look at, we have fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine, which are the members of group 17. All these elements are collectively known as halogens. In Greek language, halo means Uh, halo means salt. In Greek language, halo means salt and gens means bond. It means halogens means salt producers. So, these elements are the producers of salt or from these elements salts are produced and that is why from the Greek language, the, the word halogen has been decided for this elements. The halogens are highly reactive non-metallic elements. Please remember all the elements present in group 17 are non-metallic. No element is a metal. Astatine is a, a radioactive element. So uh, like group 1 and group 2, the elements of group 17 show great similarity amongst themselves like fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine they are very similar to each other in many ways. Halogens are so similar that no other group elements are so similar as these elements. So they are found to be the most similar element with each other in the group. There is a regular gradation there is a regular gradation in their physical and chemical properties. Astatine is a radioactive element. Now we should understand their occurrence. How do they occur in the nature? How, do, how are they found in the nature? Fluorine and chlorine are fairly aberrant, while bromine and iodine are less aberrant. Less aberrant means they are found comparatively in a less quantity in the earth's crust or in the sea water. Fluorine is present mainly as insoluble fluorides as fluorspar CaF2, cryolite Na3AlF6 and fluorapatite 3Ca3PO4 twice into CaF2. Please remember my dear students if you can. It's better to remember. Small quantities of fluorine are present in the soil, into the river, into the water plants. Water plants means plants that are found into the water into the rivers or into the ponds or into the sea. You can also call them the aquatic plants. Fluorine is also found into the bones and teeth also. So you might be aware that there are some there are some uh, kind of toothpaste which uh, which add a particular percentage of fluorine that uh, makes our teeth stronger. But remember the extra uh, amount of fluorine is even a problematic and changes the color of our teeth. Sea water contain chlorides, bromides. Now this is an important uh, information about sea water that is why I have you know made a box around it. Sea water contain chlorides, bromides and iodides of sodium, potassium, magnesium and calcium. Now you can understand that fluorine he is not here. That means most of the fluoride salts are insoluble in water. That's what that is how we can understand. And um, they have a very high lattice energy. I hope this must be the reason behind it. And you know sodium, potassium, and magnesium and calcium are salts of uh, chlorine, bromine, and iodine are mostly found into the sea water. Sodium chloride solution. 2.5% by mass is the is actually major part of sea water. So, you know, 2.5% by mass sodium chloride is present into the sea water. The deposit of dried up sea, if you really look at the deposits, when a sea dries up, the deposit of dried up sea contains sodium chloride, that is NaCl, carnelite, which is also known as KCl into MgCl2 into 6H2O, certain forms of marine life containing iodine in their system. Now we should, so this is what it is found into the uh, dried sea ups. Now we will study about the iodine. 
certain forms of marine life contain iodine in their system that means the living organism that are found into the marine or sea they have iodine in their body or uh, various seaweeds for example contain up to 0.5 percent of iodine so in seaweeds you can find iodine chile salt paper contain up to 0.2 percent of sodium iodide please remember now chile salt peter which is nano3 and indian salt peter which is kno3 are the nitrate ores of potassium and sodium this is how we can understand about chile salt peter and indian salt peter periodic properties we want to study about the group 17 elements first we should study about the electronic configuration all these elements that belongs to group 17 have seven electrons in their outermost shell so you can write the general electronic configuration as inert gas then ns2 and p5 the electronic configuration is one electron short of the next noble gas this is a very important uh, point about its electronic configuration and that is why they are highly electronegative as well as they have very high negative electron gain enthalpy atomic and ionic radii the halogens have the smallest atomic radii in their respective periods this is what you can understand when we go left to right the atomic radii decreases and they are the 17th group you know 18th group uh, are the noble gases and noble gases have a have a completely filled electronic configuration so it satisfies all the uh, all, all the nuclear positive charges or effective nuclear charge and that is why they have the highest or the biggest radii uh, one of the other reason is that that their atomic radii is uh, measured whereas for halogen and other we can find out the covalent radii or ionic radii we'll study when we study the group 18 but these halogens have the smallest atomic radii in their particular uh, period the atomic radius of fluorine like the other element of second period is extremely small small this is what it is known as the second period anomaly and fluorine being the belonging to second period it has got the smallest atomic radii atomic and ionic radii increases from fluorine to iodine due to increase of number of shells as we go down the group the number of shells also increases and that is why the atomic and ionic radii also increases so this is how we can truly understand about the few of the properties of halogens i hope my dear students you are enjoying your studies happy learning